hello guys so welcome to real thumbs up tech and on this youtube channel we talk about how you can make money online to dollar arbitrage crypto arbitrage and other legit ways of making money online so in this particular video we're going to discuss about the best way to send money to any country in africa at a very lower rate in fact at the lowest rate possible in any platform okay so this platform will allow you to send and receive funds in any african countries of the world and unlike some platforms that will allow some countries to register and some other countries not to register this platform any country in africa can register and perform any transactions using their platform okay don't worry i will tell you the name of this platform that we're actually talking about at the end of this video all right so let's go to the video and start immediately okay so like I said before, this is a real thumbs up tech and if you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, can you go down to the subscribe button below and tap on it and also the bell icon beside the one to tap on the bell icon, you set it to all. That means once I post any new videos, you'll be the first person to see it and start grabbing the updates immediately, okay? So give this video a thumbs up by liking this video, you now go down to the comment section and drop your comments in the comment section below. This platform does not only allow you to transfer money to any country in Africa, it also allows you to buy cryptocurrency on their platform, but the only coin you can buy on this particular platform is btc and usdt that's the only coins you can buy on this platform and if you look at this btc and usdt the rate is actually high here so once you tap on this btc right now you can see that the rate is about 14.6 million here which is actually high compared to other platforms like binance and others if you now go to usdt here you can see that if you are buying usdt on this platform it will cost you around 758 naira for eight kobo as of today which is a uh, 25th of october so the rate is actually very high so that's how it is though the rate can still reduce but as of today it is only good for international money transfer to african countries so if you wish to buy cryptocurrencies on this platform ensure that the rate is favorable so that you can make enough profit from that if you want to use it for arbitrage unless you just want to buy it and do any other thing you wish with this but if it is for arbitrage it is currently not profitable though it can still be profitable tomorrow because they can work on the rates okay so once you register on this platform you now go over to this account session here once you tap on the account session here you now go over to verify identity from there you can now verify your identity on the platform you can also go over to the bank option here and add your bank account so that you can be able to withdraw your money you can also do other settings on the platform if you wish to do so all right so this is this platform this platform allows you to send money to any african countries of the world be it gabon be it lesotho be it uganda be it kenya be it ghana any countries of the world in africa all right so if you want to deposit fund in this particular platform you now go over to this deposit option here don't worry in part two of this video we will do everything practical but this is just an overview of this platform so once you tap on this deposit here once you tap on deposit here you can see an option whereby you have to deposit some money you can go over to this p2p bank transfer so once you tap on it you can see that the fee is free from here the fee is actually free and it is instant so once you tap on it you now type in the amount that you want to transfer so once you type in the amount that you want to fund with you now go over to next option here so once you are in next you now go down to find my match then they will link you to someone that will deposit this 5k into your account then you now transfer the money to the person's bank account so that's how this platform works but we're not doing that now but we'll do that in part two of this video okay just try to understand how you can use this platform because if you don't understand it you can't really go ahead to start using it all right so if you want to buy cryptocurrencies on this platform you can go ahead and tap on buy so once you're in this buy option here you can see that you can only buy two coins on this platform as of today you can only buy btc and usdt and like i explained before if you tap on any of them you can see their rates here so btc is around 14.82 million you can see that here so let me assume i want to buy btc of like 20,000 naira once you type in the amount you can now go over here to next option here if you have funds in your account but we don't have funds in our account so that's why it's not going through so that's how you can buy btc on this platform as well as usdc i've actually explained this so you can see that you can buy at rate of 768 on this platform so that's their rate on this platform so if you want to buy cryptocurrencies on this platform the rate is actually high and, and it is currently not profitable if you want to use it for dollar arbitrage unless you want to use it for something else you can go ahead and buy if you wish now the next thing is for you to make payments to african countries you now go down to this option that says pay you will see an option that says pay here so once you tap on this option that says pay all right it will bring you here whereby you can request for money if you want to request for money from any african countries or you can send money if you have some funds in your account don't forget that before you send money you must have had money in your wallet here yeah? that means you must have made some deposits in your account okay 
so if you want to send money to any african countries you now go down to this send option here so once you tap on the send option there so it depends on the person you want to send money to if you have the person's number saved in your phone you can go ahead and select the person's contact but if you don't have the person's number saved on your phone you can go ahead and type the person's number here but before then go ahead and select the person's country so from here once you tap on this option here, you can see different countries that you can send money to you can send money to senegal you can send money to lesotho kenya ghana gabon luanda tanzania and any other country in africa you can actually send money to united states of america from this particular platform it is not really only african countries i think what they want to do on this platform is they also do it so that any country can participate on it but for now what they have is all the african countries and usa from tomorrow they can decide to add more countries just ensure that you check the platform almost every day to know if they have added new countries okay let me try to use ghana for example here right so let me go over to see all so i now select the person okay you can see that they've actually changed this thing to ghana code because the number is a Ghanaian number all right so whichever country you entered they will adjust this code so that it will fit into the country that you entered its number so the next thing is once you've entered the number you have to tap on check phone number so they will verify if this phone number is registered on their platform because you cannot send money to anybody that is not registered on this platform using this particular platform what do i mean if you are sending from your wallet to another person's wallet it means that the person has to register on this platform so just say the person wants to transact with to open this particular platform and verify it so you can send money from your own wallet to the person's wallet and from the person's wallet the person can now withdraw it to either our own local bank account so that's how it works okay so when you tap on this check phone number so they will verify if this number is registered on their platform and you can see this green tick here mean that this number is registered on their platform then you can now go ahead and tap on next option here you can now send money to the person so we want to know the rate here now if you are sending like ten thousand naira to this person you can see how much the person will receive in Ghanaian cities so let's go ahead and swap it so we can know how much one Ghana CD will give us in naira so once you tap on this swap option here let me delete everything here and type in one Ghana CD so one Ghana CD will give us around 57.31 naira you can see that here so that's how it works now you can see that the rate is actually very low very low compared to any other platform i've seen that does this international money transfer to african countries the rate is actually very low compared to other countries okay so this is how it works and you can also use this for dollar arbitrage don't worry i'll do part two of this video whereby i have to explain to you how you can use this for dollar arbitrage to make some profit okay just ensure that you subscribe so that you don't miss part two of this video okay now what if i want to send money to someone it may be lesotho or in kenya or in ghana and the person is not registered on this platform but, but i want to know the rate before i can transact with the person so how can i now know the rate without having the person's number registered on this platform so let me show you how you can do that so let's go back first let's go back first we go back all right so you now have to go to this option that says view forex rate you go to this option that says view forex rate so once you tap on this option here you can see different rates for almost all the countries that works with this platform currently you can see all their rates actually for african countries you can see all their rates here so this rate means their rates per one naira their rates per one naira for example this west african franc means that one naira will give you 0.8617 of this west african franc and under this uganda shilling it means that one naira will give you 4.9072 uganda shilling and if you go down to the option that says ghana cd it means that one naira will give you 0.0174 ghana cd as well as all other rates so their rate here is based on one naira then let's go ahead and do some calculations so that you will know how this rate actually works because if we have that one naira gives us 0.0174 ghana cd how do we now know how much we can get one ghana cd in naira so let's go ahead and do the calculations one naira one naira is equal to 0.0174 ghana cd 0.0174 ghana cd that is one naira then the question is one ghana cds one ghana cd will now give us how much in naira 
because that's the main thing we need to understand you know before you start any arbitrage one Ghana CD is how much in naira so let's go ahead and do the calculations you now go over to your calculator you now come here since one naira gives us 0 0.0174 Ghana CD that means one Ghana CD will give us one naira divided by 0 0.0174 that gives us 57.47 57.47 naira should give us one Ghana CD using that rate. Okay. Okay. So let's go and write it down. Let me copy it from here. All right. So let's go and put it down. So one Ghana CD will give us 57.47 naira. I see how you can calculate it so that you know the exact amount you will get. So that's how it works. Okay. Let's go over and use another currency so that you will know exactly how to do these calculations. Now look down here, you see a currency called Lesotho Loti. And if you look here, you see the rates. If you are sending money to Lesotho, the rate is one naira is 0 0.013 Lesotho Loti using this platform because any other platform can have another rate. So let's go and do our calculations. So one naira, one naira will give us 0 0.013 Lesotho currency. Lesotho, okay. All right, so all right, so one Lesotho Loti will give us how much in naira. Let's go and do the calculations. It will give us how much in naira. So let's go over to our calculator and do the calculation. So we now say one naira divided by zero point zero one three Lesotho Loti. So that gives us seventy six point nine two naira. So seventy six point nine two naira will give us one Lesotho currency. So let's go and put it down. Let's go and put it down so you can see that this is how you can try to know the rates even before you get any contact in any of these countries. You need to know the rates so that you know whether it is favorable or not and whether you can use that country for arbitrage or not. Don't worry, I will explain to you exactly how you can use this for arbitrage in part 2 of this video, okay? But you need to understand this before you can do that, alright? So this is how it works. Now you can see that one is total low tick is equal to 76.92 Naira. So, if you look here, you see that we have two different types here. There are two different types of these rates. One is per one naira and the other one is per that currency. Okay? Now, what if I want to send 20,000 naira to someone in Ghana? How do I know how much the person will receive in Ghana cities if the person's number is not registered on this platform? Because if you want to do any arbitrage, you need to do your calculations before you know the particular country to use for this arbitrage. So how do I know how much the person will receive if I send like 20k to the person in Naira? How do I know how much the person will receive in Ghana City? So let's go and do the calculations. First of all, you have to know that one Naira will give us 0 0.0174 Ghana City. So let's copy it and go over to our calculator. So since one Naira gives us 0 0.0174 Ghana City, if we are sending 20,000 Naira to the person in Ghana, that means the person should receive this amount times 20,000 Naira. The person should receive 348 Ghana CDs. Okay? 348 Ghana CDs. So let's go and put it down. Alright, so if we are sending 20K in Naira, in Naira, the person should receive 348 Ghana CDs. Alright? Okay, what if you want to send like 600 Ghana CDs to the person? How will you know the amount you send in Naira? For example, I want to buy a coin from someone in Ghana and the person says that the coin is worth 600 Ghana CDs. So how do I know how much I will spend so that I will determine whether I will be at a profit or at a loss if I engage in that arbitrage? So let's go over to a calculator and know how much you will send to the person in Naira. Why the person receives 600 Ghana CDs, for example. So having known that one Ghana CD is... 57.47 naira 57.47 naira if we now come over to a calculator here and we paste it there 57.47 naira is one ghana cd so this one ghana cd times 600 ghana cds it means that we will spend 34,482 naira in sending 600 ghana cities so that's how we can do these calculations before you can know whether there is an arbitrage opportunity for this country or not you have to do proper calculations before you embark on the arbitrage and mind you not all countries are profitable at any point in time so ensure that you do your calculations before you embark on any other arbitrage on this platform so 600 ghana cities 600 ghana cities is equal to 
and four four eight two all right so that is how much we will spend in naira if we are sending this money to the person okay now one thing i understand about this platform is because i would like to be sincere with you when i was in this platform with someone in ghana the rate as a last week no as a two days ago was 62 point something naira and i told the guy in ghana to confirm if the rate is the same even when he's sending me money from there over here in nigeria and when he tried it he noticed that the rate is not the same so the rate is not the same i will explain all these things in part two of this video okay so this is all about this platform this is how you can know the rate on this platform and how you can go ahead to use it to transfer money to any country of the world in africa as well as united states they can still add more countries tomorrow so just check out the platform so that you know whether they have added new countries or not so that's how this platform works so the name of this platform is called yellow card go ahead to register by using the link in the video description once you register you now go ahead to verify your account before you can now start using this platform for any transactions okay so that's the end of this video for now see you in my next video that is part two of this video whereby i'll do a live transactions and you will understand how this platform works okay so go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel by tapping on the red subscribe button below and also go ahead to press the bell icon and set it to all so once i release any new videos you'll be among the first person to see it and start grabbing the updates immediately and as well give this video a thumbs up by liking this video and drop your comments in the comment section below okay have a nice day for now see you in my next video bye bye